All right, let's look at this example. So uh, they're given the first term uh, 11 minus x and the second are the 2x plus 3 and the fourth term are 3x plus 1. And the third term is the one that I draw a line, right? Uh, so means that this question is actually asking you to find the value of x and find the third term, right? You have to find the value of x before you find the third term. So very simple. So now you, uh, this is uh, arithmetic. Uh, you must understand arithmetic, right? Arithmetic, we talk about first term and common difference, right? Uh, we have first term, then we have common difference. So how are we going to solve this type of equation? Uh, first, you have to find the um, the value of x, right? The value of x. So uh, either we want to think about formula, okay? Uh, we think about formula. So let's say you have first term. Uh, this is your first term is eleven minus x already given, right? The first term. So how to find the common difference, right? How to find the common difference? So con common difference, you can take the second term minus the first term, or the third term minus the uh, the third term minus the what the second term and the fourth term minus the third term so but in this case i think that there is only uh given right this is the one given that subsequent okay you have uh, first term followed by second term and this one you don't have the value right so you cannot uh, use this so you have to use this too so means that i can take the second term uh, this is common difference you can take because they are the same they keep adding the same thing so 2x plus 1 minus with 11 minus x all right uh, this is the uh, approach so 2x 2x minus minus 2x minus it become plus so you have 3x right you have uh 3x so 1 minus 11 right you have 1 minus 11 you have negative 10 ah uh, this is your common difference uh, i'm going to highlight this this is my common difference right this is my common difference so this is my first term. Okay. So um, what does this help you, right? The, the common difference, is it helping? Uh, never mind, because we know that they're given the fourth term, right? Uh, they give you the fourth term to be 3x plus 1, right? I apply the formula, right? I apply the formula. I know the formula for n term for arithmetic sequence will be a plus n minus 1d, right? Uh, so you know that your fourth term now, your fourth term now, your fourth term now is the same as the a. And the a given is 11 minus x plus with 4 minus 1d, right? 4 minus 1, uh, your n minus 1d, your d is given as 3x minus 10, right? Can you see that? Uh, so what is your fourth term? Your fourth term is 3x plus 1, okay? You, you try to understand, uh, using the formula for n term, I know that the n term for this, the t4, is also the same as the a, right? This is your a plus with n minus 1, which is your 4 minus 1 d, right? Uh, this is your d. So now you can equate this, everything, to t4, which is 3x plus 1. So it means that I can 11 minus x, plus with, okay, I simplify for this first. I have 11 minus x plus with 4 minus 1. We have 3. 3x three minus 10. Slowly enjoying, okay. Uh, you have 9x minus with 30. So I get in term of x first before I solve. So your t4 will be 9x, 9x minus x, which gives you 8x, right? 8x, 11 minus 30, which gives you negative 19, right? Negative 19. So the t4 is also 8x minus 19, right? Minus 19. So I also know that the fourth term is 3x plus 1. So I'm going to equate this to this. So means I'm going to take 3x plus 1 equate to 8x minus 19, right? So I have 8x minus 3x. Ah, now you can see, you have get the linear equation, right? 8x minus 3x, you have 5x. 1, negative 20. So the value of x is 20 over 5, which gives you 4. Now you have already found the value of x, right? The value of x. And now become very simple. You just 
put this value of 4 inside here, you can get the sequence, right? So, what is 4? So, 4, 11 minus 4. So, how many? 11 minus 4, you have 7, right? Uh, you have 7. So, you substitute 4. 2 times 4, 8. 8 plus 1, you have 9, right? 8 plus 9, you have 9. 2, 4, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. 11 minus 4, 7. So, this one, I don't know the third term, but this one is my fourth term, which is 3 times 4, 12, 13. Right? 13. So now you know the common difference also, right? The common difference, after you know the x, you know everything. You multiply 4 minus 10, then you have 12 minus 10, you have 2. Can you see the increment? Adding by 2, uh, plus 2, 7 plus 2, 9. So this one, of course, also plus 2. This one also plus 2, right, to get 13. So it means that the first term, you plus 2, get the second term. The second term, you plus 2, you get the third term. So 9 plus 2, so it means the third term is you take the 9 plus with the 2, which is 11. Very simple question, right? Just apply the concept for arithmetic sequence.